வெல்கம் டு ஏனி கம்யூனிட்டி இன் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் தி ஜென்ரல் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் இன் ரிலேஷன் டு இயர் ஸோ ஃபார் வி ஹேவ் டிஸ்கஸ்டு தி சிக்னிஃபிகன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஜென்ரல் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் அண்ட் டிஃபரெண்ட் ஜென்ரல் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இன் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் வீடியோ வேர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் தி வாட் ஆர் தி டயக்னோசிஸ் தட் கேன் பி மேட் by examining the ear when you look into the ears brief anatomy has to be known this is what is considered to be the brief structural aspect of the ear this is considered to be the triangular posa a purple colored arrow that is showing the triangular posa and this is considered to be the helix and the one which is present inside the helix that is starting from the triangular posa that is considered to be anti helix the bottom most part that is considered to be the lobule and the one which is present the swelling just present in front of the what do you say that the hole or the the opening that is what we can say the tragus just behind the tragus there is a concha then exactly the opposite to the tragus there is one more swelling that is considered to be the anti tragus this knowing about this helps in the localizing the lesion as such these are what do you consider to be the common congenital anomalies that can be observed these are the different ways as such as per ayurveda this can be categorized under janma bala pravrta vikara or otherwise as per the ashtanga sangraha can be categorized under garbhaja vikara <clears throat> this is considered to be the redness of the ear that is specifically seen in case of inflammation in this particular case it could be otitis externa as such or the inflammation of the pinna we can say this is what we, what is considered to be the tophus so this is what is considered to be the deposition of uric acid crystals are going to get seen here this is seen in the patients of gout this is a case of uh, excessive ear discharge specifically here it is considered to be the wax accumulation we can see this is considered to be an image of pus discharge specifically seen in case of the infection related to the ear as such or otherwise the otitis externa we can say this is considered to be the inflammation specifically it is a herpes zoster inflammation so as it is present it is usually being seen in the patients who are having the facial palsy this will be ramsay hunt syndrome this particular condition is called which is one of the reason for the development of the facial palsy when you look into the examination of ear so we are asking whether is there any hearing loss is being present or not which may be helpful in determining the conductive deafness or otherwise sensory neural deafness or mixed deafness tinnitus so that means the subjective tinnitus may be there or objective tinnitus some kind of the ringing in the ears what we can say objective tinnitus may be seen in persons who are having the ear ossicles fracture etc and the subjective tinnitus may be present when there is excessive wax accumulation in the ear dizziness or vertigo 
may be seen in the persons who are having semicircular canal disturbances. Ear ache, specifically seen in case of inflammations as such. Ear discharge, seen in cases of the excessive wax accumulation or otherwise infections of the ear. Itching in the ear, infections may be there. Deformities, seen in cases of the congenital disorders as such. Swelling around the ear may indicate inflammation of the ear as such. So, the take-home messages from today's discussion here, as a part of general examination, has to be examined properly. In some of the occasions, we can see or we can make the diagnosis of some of the systemic diseases as such. Congenital anomalies observed due to developmental defects. Toe five, in case of the gout, redness of the ear, in case of inflammation of the ear, wax accumulation or pus discharge may indicate the disturbances in the external ear, vesicles or pustules in the ear, followed by facial palsy, makes the diagnosis of Ramsey Hunt syndrome. So like that, As a, apart from that, deafness, tinnitus, pain in the ear, or dizziness or discharge in the ear, itching or swelling around the ear has to be looked into. Dear ANA community, that's all for today. What are the major key takeaways from today's discussion? Mention in the comment box below. And what is the one video that you would like to hear in this particular channel? Mention in the comment box below. And spread this particular video to maximum number of true Ayurveda learners or true Roganidana learners where we can make a huge movement out of this particular small message. That's all for today. Something more in the next video. Thank you.